السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today I go back to a breast with in 1978 while I was sitting in the doctor's or nurse's room uh, reading something about articles about the Arabs I said yeah, I am an Arab I said no 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 you are not an Arab you are Egyptian don't call yourself Arab please don't call yourself Arab don't call yourself Arab I said why I tell you why during that time after 1973 war the prices of petrol oil was booming and there was a lot of money made by the Arab countries, especially the oil producing countries. And a lot of young people came from those countries to UK and they behaved very, 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 very badly. First incident happened there is a young man who was picking up a girl from somewhere. This was all uh, written in the newspaper picking up a girl from whatever it is, and he was going around enjoying themselves, actually, as friends, yani. Uh, and uh, they went to a shop in London, and they wanted to buy something, and this was just soon before the shop was closed. And the man told them, sorry, you are going to close the shop. He said, no, no, no. The man was in a very proud uh, uh, statement, said, no. Well, she has to finish shopping. Said, what do you mean? The time now is five o'clock or six o'clock. I have to close. Said, no, no, no. You stay and let her to answer her. They did, but he told him, he told the Arab young man or the young man, uh, okay, you have to pay the cost of the people staying behind uh, to serve your uh, wife or your girlfriend. Said, yes, I'll pay. I think he let everybody in the shop to stay behind till the young lady with him finished the shopping and he paid the money for the clothes and the money for the uh, workers who stayed behind. This is the first incident was, was in the newspaper. The second one was somebody who was actually was very fond and married to some young girl and bought a, a mansion, big mansion or palace in London. And this palace was about 48 rooms. I don't know how much was it. Then there was a lot of statues made out of marble and he was painting the private organs or sexual organs in the man and the woman with different color. And he made special rooms in the palace for the shoes. So you can imagine, you can imagine how many shoes he put for his wife and whatever you call it. When the divorce came between the young girl and the man, actually, the man has to uh, look at his house, which could be owned by his wife or ex-wife, because the people, those people don't know the law in the country, but they have a lot of money, unfortunately. And this was on the news as well. Uh, the third one, uh, somebody was in London, and uh, he had, I think, a Rolls Royce car. He bought it for, I think, a month or two, and then on the way to the airport, and he gave the key to the driver, and the driver was shocked. I said, what to do with the key? He said, keep it for you as a gift, as a generosity from the young man or the man who was there. Number four, number four, and not the, not the least one, is uh, the industry of horse racing was dying at that time. No income, everything was going to be closed down. Till some individuals from certain countries came and revived it by buying and investing in it millions and millions of pounds and dollars. Actually, in this industry, they used to go to the stables to give to the caretaker of the horses, uh, uh, golden watches, uh, money, and other things. And even they bought a horse called Red Ram. And I remember the Red Ram was bought for 10 million pounds or 10 million dollars at that time. This is how the local people in UK, and this is how the newspaper were talking about the Arabs at the time in the late 70s. That's why one 
or, or actually, or, 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 or the nurses and the sisters with me in Bronglais Hospital said that, don't say that you are Arab, say that you are Egyptian. Unfortunately, behavior like this does not represent the whole country on all the Arabs. It is just the few who are uneducated, ignorant, don't have ethical values, moral values and other in their life, and uh, behaved badly like this to tarnish the rest of the Arabs in this area. Please, brothers and sisters, when you come to this country, remember that you are the ambassador of your country to this country. You are the ambassador of your religion. You are an ambassador of your values. You are an ambassador of your culture, culture and history in this country and behave well and don't follow those people as happened with this example which I given. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.